Hello everybody, come on in. Welcome to Stock Stock Live with Tim on this Thursday night, uh, December the 3rd, 2020. Come on in, I know um, uh, some of you have been waiting. Uh, others of you uh, have been uh, um, anticipating tonight, uh, tonight's market. Of course, we are uh, um, of course we um, um, we had a, a pretty amazing day on the market today. A pretty amazing, amazing day on the market, uh, to say the least. All right, so we're gonna start there. Let's go to. I want to make sure that I can see any of you who are uh, saying something to me. So I want to make sure that I can see uh, and uh, your comments if you're saying anything. I want to make sure that I can see your comments. So, and your comments are certainly welcome. Your comments are welcome. Let me say this again before we even get started. And let me know who is there, who is on, because I see that the number says there's quite a few of you on. However, I don't know, I'm recording on different devices around my uh, room here, and so I don't know who's on, so just say hello, just say hello, Tim, so that I can know who you, who, who is on uh, on tonight. All right, and then, of course, uh, Angie, if you're on, please text Deborah and tell her that I'm on, and Deborah, if you're on, please text Angie and tell her that I'm on. Others of you around the world, uh, Alaska, Japan, Germany, uh, Korea, uh, Hawaii, and other places, uh, we know that you'll be watching later on. So let me say this to you again for all of you. Please go and subscribe to the YouTube, to the YouTube channel. My name is Tim, T-I-M McKenzie. McKenzie is spelled M-C-K-I-N-Z-I-E. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you can get those up to the moment um, uh, information uh, about the stock market as it's happening throughout the day because I'm watching the stock markets throughout the day. So as the uh, stuff begins to happen, I will post it on YouTube. You subscribe and click that bell and you will get those up to the moment uh, information about what's going on in the market. Let me say again, uh, to all of you, thank you for joining us. Join on Stock Talk Live with Tim. And then, of course, for those of you who are just getting on, again, go to YouTube. Tell your friends, please tell them to go to YouTube and subscribe to the YouTube channel, Tim McKenzie. McKenzie is M-C-K-I-N-Z-I-E. And then you'll get those up to, up to the moment updates there. If you are just getting on, I see the numbers are rising and uh, quite a few of you are on. Uh, so please just say something to me so that I can know that you're on and in place. I see that there's quite a few who have uh, seen that we're on but uh, but didn't sign on. That's fine. You can watch the rebroadcast later on, and that's you're, you're more than welcome to do that. Let's go. Uh, and, it, and again, it is not my intention to be on very long tonight, um, 15 minutes, 20 minutes at the most. Uh, today is Thursday, so of course today is not for beginners. Beginners, we're going to probably talk over your head a little tonight because today is Thursday, so we're not. We're going to talk to those who are more uh, uh, of the advanced stage and not beginners. Of, of course, we are only talking to the to the um, uh, the users of Robinhood. I don't know the other apps. Stash, TD Ameritrade, um, and, and there's others uh, as well. I don't know those apps. I only know Robinhood. If you know those apps, you can certainly stay on, but I can't answer the question about why this app does this and versus that, etc., etc. So being that tonight is not for beginners and we have about 15 more minutes left, let's talk about what the market did today. First of all, the market didn't do too bad today. And again, let me speak for myself. I didn't do too bad today on the market. Uh, I made uh, I made money during the market today. I was in the green all day today. 
and of course uh, I made money after after the markets closing so after closing I made money and during the market I made a whole lot of money today hopefully that is the same for all of you uh, when it comes to options and tradings there are two types of options there are options for calls and options for puts what's the difference calls are when you're betting the market that a particular stock will go up put which when you're betting the market that a particular stock will go down. Right now, currently, I have three of them. I have a Moderna, which is MRNA, betting the market that uh, by tomorrow, it will go up to $175, which I don't think that's, I, I don't think that will be the case. Certainly, it will not be the case. Being that it closed today at $156.07, so I don't think it's gonna close tomorrow by uh, uh, by four o'clock uh, or by three o'clock that is uh, at 175 even that's a call and then I have another call for uh, Apple for Apple to go up to one hundred and seventeen dollars and fifty cents by the 18th of December and I've had that for quite a while now I'm in the money I'm making money with that one because currently Apple closed today at $122.85. So I bet the, uh, the market that Apple would go up to $117.50. So it has surpassed what I bet. So of course I'm in the money. And then the other one that I have is FCEL. And a whole lot of you have been asking about FCEL. Now I don't, I don't own any of those. I don't own any of those stocks, but I, did, I do trade with them. Fuel Cell Energy, Fuel Cell Energy, they closed today at $7.51. And that is one, it's not a penny stock because it's more than $5, but if I were you, that is one I would purchase some of those because that one will be going up more and more. Of course, today it went up by 14 cents today during the market and another 13 cents after market today. So they didn't do too bad uh, today. That's uh uh, 27 cents. All right. So we're doing good. We're doing good with that one as well uh, because we, we're, we're doing good. We're betting it that it would go up to $5.50 by, uh, by December the 18th. I'm closing that one out December the 18th. That it will go up to $5.50. And of course, we see that just now it's currently at $7 and some change. So I'm in the money. I am making money on that one. I'm making on money on that one. Okay. All right. So that's how that works for as far as the calls and the puts. All right. Let me talk to you all about uh, some of the stocks, um, the top movers uh, for today. We won't go over a whole lot of them, but let's just talk about a, a few of them with the 12 minutes that we have left together. Let's talk first of uh, first of all that. The one that one of them that did very well today uh, is uh, is uh, there's quite a few. There's quite a few that did very well today. So I don't know where to even start. Um, uh, no, Cinemax didn't do well. Uh, let's go to Arlo Technologies, which is not expensive. The ticker is A R L O. They closed today at $6.80 per share. They did go up today. So ARLO is a good one to purchase. It's not expensive and it will continue to go up. So if I were you, I would get some of those. All right. Though, and then of, of course, as far as top 10, uh, there wasn't a whole lot of them. Another one I want to mention is Nesco. Nesco, which the ticker is NSCO, they closed today at $6.29 per share. They did go up. They did go up. So um, uh, if I were you, I would look into that one so you can get uh, be in the market with some of that one because uh, they did very well today. And of course, uh, the opposite of a call, the opposite of a call is called a put. The opposite of a call is called a put. When you're betting the market, that a market will go down. And then when the market goes down, you're losing, I mean, you're gaining money. If you bet that it was going, it would go down, you would be gaining money the same way you would be gaining money uh, for the calls, for those of you who know about that. So those are basically calls and puts. 
And I don't know if there's anyone on, I know Angie and some others, you all have calls and some, I don't think any one of you have puts, I'm not sure, you can let me know if you do, but quite a few people have calls uh, for different things. Calls close and puts, they close on Fridays. They close on Fridays. Now you can select the Friday that you wanted to close. For example, uh, I bought the Apple call a while back. I bought it quite a while back. Uh, and to close it, uh, to close it on December the 18th, I bet it when it was much cheaper than what it is now, and I bet the the market that Apple would go to to uh, uh, to $117.50 by December the 18th. And then, of course, we know, as we said earlier, right now, Apple's at $122.85. So I'm in the money. So how does that work? If I bet the market that Apple's going to go up to $117.50, once it gets to $117.50, every dollar, every one dollar that it makes over $117.50, I will make $100. Of course, so if you think about it, um, I bet it at 117.50 and it's at 122. And so I've made $400 if you can look at if you want to look at it like that. I've made $400 because I've went up uh, more than um, more than uh, 117.50. I've went up more than 117.50. So I'm doing pretty good. And then as long as Apple continues to do that until December the 18th. When it closes automatically at three o'clock on December the 18th, everything that is over 117.50, every one dollar that is over 117.50, I will make a hundred dollars for every one dollar that is over 117.50. So that's how pretty much calls and puts work. Now let me say this to you again: in the eight minutes that we have left, uh, you don't have to buy the whole shares. You don't have to buy the whole shares. Some of the stocks are very very expensive, like Amazon is $3,187.67. If you don't have the $3,187.67, then of course what you can do, you can buy, you can purchase the uh, um, uh, dollar amount. You can purchase $100 worth or $200 worth or $300 worth. So when it makes money, you're making money because you're in it. So it's always good to make some money rather than no money, okay? Uh, the same thing, the same thing uh, with Amazon, and I meant, I mean, excuse me, excuse me, I just mentioned Amazon, but the same thing with Google. Google's rather expensive at $1,821.84 per share. And if you can't find, if you go, if you can't afford the entire share, one share, then buy dollar amounts because you are able to purchase uh, the stocks in dollar amount. Let me go back to, uh, let me go back to um, uh, calls and puts again. You do not have to own the stocks to bet on the stocks. You don't have to own it to bet on it. All right. You can you can bet on any stock on the market. Calls and puts, and not even own it. Some people that's all they do. They trade. They trade. Uh, they do trade option all day long and they're not they don't own any stocks they're making all of their money off trade options trade options all right so once you once you make this money if you close it out it's going to put that money into your it's going to put that money into your uh buying power once you get the money deposited into your buying power now you wouldn't have to go back to your bank to, to uh to purchase more shares of anything or buy more of anything or calls or puts because you have money in your buying power. Once you have money in your buying power, now buy some, some more stuff, buy some more stuff. Either buy some more stocks or buy a particular stock that you don't have or then you can turn around and, and, and play with calls and puts again because you have money in your buying power. All right, so let's be mindful of that. That's how this works. All right, it is not my intention. I'm finishing up early. It was not my intention to stay on, but until 20 minutes tonight, 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm right at 14 minutes. So that's all that I have tonight. Of course, the market is uh, it, it is open on tomorrow. The market is open from 9.30 in the morning to 4 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. And when it opens tomorrow morning, 
Of course, that's the best time to look at the market, to make your decision, to decide what you want to do with calls or puts or buying other stocks. All right, buying more stocks. That's all I have. Again, thank you for joining me on Stock Talk Live with Tim. I'm Tim McKenzie. Good night.